In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about binomial distributions. I'm going to use target practice as an example. Imagine you have five targets, and this would be in trials or five targets. And what is the probability or likelihood of hitting three of these targets, knowing that historical success is one-third and historical failure is two-thirds? I'm also going to do another problem using the same targets. And what's the probability of hitting all five targets with this information? And also, kind of a trick question, what's the probability of hitting at least three targets? Because you can hit three targets, four targets, or five targets. For all of these types of problems, the formula that you will use is something like this, the equation or formula, where the probability of success is equal to the notation is confusing and this nk thing is really something else I'm not going to read you that equation but in a minute I'm gonna put numbers in there and hopefully that will make sense let me just pull all this other stuff down too and this is the equation I'm going to use instead of the one above so I think it's a little easier to follow and again I'm only substituting these two things let me put some numbers in here, and I'm going to go slowly and walk you through this step by step. I have five targets. What's the likelihood of three success or three hits? Knowing the historically one-third probability of success and two-thirds probability of failure. Now I just plug numbers into an equation. K is three, and that's my successes, my hits. The n factorial is five factorial divided by my number of successes or hits factorial and I'll tell you what a factorial is in a minute in case you don't know then the number of trials are in in this case it's five minus the successes which is k in this case it's three all this factorial I take all this times the probability of success raised to the k power in this case it's raised to the third power Take this times the probability of failure, which is two-thirds, raised to the n minus k power, which is raised to the five minus three power. I'm going to go through this step by step now and solve this equation. So the first part, this part right there, this is all equal to five factorial divided by three factorial and 5 minus 3 is 2, so I have 2 factorial. This is equal to 5 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2 times 1, times 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. I'm going to make things easy on myself, so I'm going to cancel some things out. I cancel 3. 2 and 1 in the numerator and 3, 2 and 1 in the denominator. This is equal to 5 times 4 in the numerator, the top, divided by 2, just divide by 2. This is equal to 10. This part of the calculations is known as combinations, and I'm going to show you something here real quick. What the 10 represents is if I have five targets and I hit the targets three times, how many different ways can I hit it three times? And there's 10 different ways I can hit these targets three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 10 different ways. I'll put a link to a video below on combinations so you can explore that a little bit more if you want to. So I calculated the 10, and that's just part of my calculation. And now I'm going to calculate the rest of the problem. Let me bring that P3 down equally right there. And the 10 over. And 1 third to the third power times 2 thirds to the 5 minus 3 power, which is 2 thirds to the second power, or squared. This is equal to 10 times... This is equal to 10 times 1 third 
cubed, which is 1 over 27, times 2 thirds squared, which is 4 divided by 9. When I do the calculations, I end up with 40 in the numerator, and the denominator equals 243, or 0.1646, which is equal to about 16%. The likelihood of hitting these five targets three times, knowing historically the rate of success is one-third and the rate of failure is two-thirds, is about 16%. So what's the probability of hitting all five targets? Well, let's calculate that. So I have five targets and hitting all five targets. There's only one way to do this, by the way, one combination. So I have these five targets, and what's the probability of hitting all five targets? Here's the equation. I'm not going to read that to you, but I'll just let you pause it if you need to the video. So the likelihood of hitting all five targets is about 0.4%. Not very likely. So what's the probability of hitting at least three targets? This is kind of a trick question because you can hit three targets, you can hit four targets, you can hit all five targets, which we just calculated that one. So it turns out I need to take these probabilities of hitting three targets, which I calculated first, which turns out to be 16%, the probability of hitting four targets, which turns out to be 4%, and the probability of hitting five targets, which, turns, which we know is equal to 0.4%, I need to add up all these probabilities, which turns out to be about 20.4%. The probability of hitting at least three targets is about 20.4%. You're probably wondering, what's the probability of not hitting any targets? Well, let me tell you. So this is kind of a little bonus. You take five shots and hit zero targets, about 13%. Let me show you the calculations. I'm not going to read these to you. You can pause the video and look at the calculations if you like. I'm going to be loading a lot of videos on binomial distributions and probability. So check the links below. And always share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Links below. Subscribe. It helps others find the videos. Like my videos. Please, please like my videos.